In this video, I will show you how to generate interesting prompts for your ChatGPT conversations. So that instead of having to use an interface like this, where you have to scroll through and read, trying to make sense of what this conversation is about, you can use a browser extension. In this case, it's Infranodos AI, which analyzes the content of your ChatGPT conversation, identifies a gap inside, and then generates an interesting question, which you can then copy and paste into ChatGPT to continue this conversation in an interesting direction. So if you would like to learn how it works, keep watching and I will demonstrate step by step. We will be using the Infranodos AI extension, which is available on Chrome and Firefox stores. And the way that it works is that it analyzes the underlying structure of any page. In this case, it's a ChatGPT conversation, but you can also use it on YouTube videos or websites identifies the main topics or the clusters of ideas that tend to occur together in the same context. And then based on this, it can identify a structural gap between them. So this gap is shown here on the brainstorm panel. And for example, here I have a conversation about rest and restore. So it identified that in this conversation, I have one topic on brain function here, and then another one on exercise boost, right? So these two topics in this conversation are not very well connected. And then it proposes me a question that would link those two topics together. So it's a really great tool to help you think about a certain idea because it will always identify the gaps between topics and try to bridge them together with an interesting question, which you can then try to respond to yourself. Or you can also send this question to ChatGPT by copying it here and then pasting it in order to generate an interesting response automatically and to think together with AI. Inside this extension, you can even generate an answer to this question yourself. So for example, if you click on the ideate button here, it's gonna send this very same question to GPT-4, which uh, powers this extension, and then generate an idea which would answer this question, but also connect to the context of the conversation, right? So what you can do here is that you can generate several answers to the question and then whenever you find something you like, you can copy and paste and add it into this ChatGPT conversation as well. So then ChatGPT will continue this discourse for you. So this is also how you could use it. And I find this approach is very interesting because uh, instead of just generating a summary of the conversation, so for example, let's say, I arrived to this conversation, which I had with ChatGPT several days ago. I know it's about rest and restore. So I was talking about resting and restoration and different practices, right? Like I can read through it. I can, of course, also ask ChatGPT to tell me what this conversation is about, to kind of pick up where I left. I can also generate a summary. So this extension can also do that. If you click on explore and then summarize, it's gonna create a summary of this conversation. But I find that usually if you want to think about a certain topic, this is not as useful as generating questions because if you generate questions, you start to think about different ways of approaching this content in a way that would help your understanding of it, that would help you learn the main concepts inside, and that would also help you develop this conversation further because you're focusing on the gaps, on what's missing. So it kind of pushes you to think in the direction that you haven't thought of before. So here, for instance, I have a quick summary of this conversation, which I can read and, for example, uh, see how this conversation about rest and restoration is focused on sleep, physical exercise and meditation. So these are all important elements and how it also is useful for cellular repair, uh, BDNF hormone levels, neuroplasticity, right? So I kind of get the gist of the conversation, but then if I have a summary I find that it's good for me to remember, but I still don't know where to take it next. So this is why I like to start with the question. This is why I would usually go to the brainstorm section here, wait for the question. So here it says, how does interplay between physical exercise and the cellular repair processes during rest periods, such as sleep and autophagy, contribute to optimizing human growth, performance and well-being? So this is interesting because it's a very technical question that just exposes uh, two topics that I touched upon in this conversation, namely physical exercise and cellular repair and rest periods. And now it's asking a technical question, how does that actually work, right? So this I can submit to ChatGPT and have it answer that question. I can even modify the prompt. This allows me to kind of start from where I have left off, where I have the gaps in the conversation and then develop them further. 
If I like, I can also have the extension regenerate the gaps for me. So here it identified two gaps now, cellular restoration, physical activity. If I click on show gap, now it's showing me the second gap out of six identified. So here there's a gap between memory enhancement and stress reduction, for example. So that's interesting because it's actually, if I click here, I can see what these topics are about and I can see the top statement which belongs to each topic. So for example, one on memory enhancement is about how sleep is, uh, plays a critical role in memory consolidation, right? So there I also have the keywords, which by the way, if you do search engine optimization, you can also copy those keywords and then save them into your list. Uh, but here it's talking about uh, memory enhancement during sleep, neuroplasticity and rest. Okay, so I understand this topic. And then here, there's one on stress reduction through meditation, but also through other means. And then it proposes me to think of a connection between those two topics. So how do, does memory enhancement or memory learning is connected to stress reduction and BDNF levels? And usually it's going to be quite hard questions because Infranodos identifies gaps. So it's not the most evident connections, right? You might not even have them yet in your text. And this is why they become very interesting because once you think of the connection, what could be a relation between memory enhancement and stress reduction? For instance, you have to actively try to develop uh, these ideas further yourself, right? So if I choose this gap and then I click regenerate, it's going to try to come up with a question that would link those two together. So for example, here, how does stress induced modulation of BDNF levels influence the critical role of specific memory areas in learning enhancement and solving oxidative metabolic challenges? Really great, really technical, really going in depth uh, into biology, which can be very interesting for, for me if I want to explore the science behind that, right? If I also click here, I can see more questions generated on this topic or generate more of them to see if there is anything else interesting that comes up. And here it's talking again about reducing stress levels and increasing BDNF and how it enhances the role of specific areas involved in memory and learning. So this is interesting because it kind of leads me to a possible answer already. It says that uh, if the levels of BDNF hormone are increased, maybe some areas uh, that are connected to memory will be uh, less uh, stressed and enhanced and therefore uh, the memory will improve, right? So there it already guides me to, to a possible solution to this question. So I can also click ideate and then generate a response to that. So this is how you would approach this. You would identify the gaps, reload them to see interesting connections. And then when you find something you like, you generate a question. And if you like the question, then you copy and paste it here. And if you want, you also can ideate with uh, this question yourself. Another thing that you can do is that you can actually send this question to the built-in AI chat. So instead of putting it into your ChatGPT conversation, you can actually copy and paste it into the chat itself. And then the built-in GPT-4 will chat with your content for you. So you don't have to add this question into your ChatGPT conversation. Instead, you have the AI generating an answer for you using the context of the conversation. So you can kind of go on a tangent a little bit and explore a certain topic without uh, adding all this information into your ChatGPT. And once you arrive to something you like, for example, here it's talking about the interplay between cognitive resilience um, and synaptic plasticity, right? And also it provides some references so you can understand which parts of the text it refers to when it provides this answer. And if you find something you like, like let's say you like this comment, you can add it here and then have ChatGPT generate more ideas that would relate to uh, this concept. So that's also a very interesting way to approach it, not just posting questions, but chatting with content, arriving to a certain idea that you find interesting and then pasting it into the conversation to uh, keep it running and steering it in an interesting direction. So this is how it would work with the chat. Try it out on infranodos.com. You can download the extension there or on Chrome Web Store or Firefox add-ons if you search for Infranodus AI and you will need an account on Infranodus to use it. And if you go to infranodus.com, you can learn more about the science behind this approach because 
underneath it uses knowledge graphs, so it represents your ideas in a way that looks like that, where the main concepts are the nodes and the co-occurrences are the connections, and then it identifies structural gaps, or so the main topics inside, and this is how it identifies the gaps, right? So if you create an account in Infranodus, you can also use the visual analysis tool that comes with it, not only the extension itself, but also the underlying knowledge graph in order to explore your ideas in more detail. And by the way, you can also visualize your ChatGPT conversations here as well and interact with them in this way. You can also start a new conversation and approach it absolutely in the same way. So if I start a new one and type in rest and restoration, for instance, what happens here is that uh, ChatGPT provides me a certain response. And then what I can do is just uh, open the extension and have it generate the next question for me. So you can even use it with new conversations like this. You don't have to use an existing one. You can also use it on a new conversation and then use the questions that it generates to steer this interaction in a direction that will identify those gaps and bridge them. So try it out on infranotice.com and let me know how it works. Thank you.